So the third item we want to look at today is updating your profile on the tu.edu website. So if you were to be on the main page, tu.edu, and go under faculty and staff, you'll see that there's a faculty and staff directory. And if you go down to where your name is located and click on your profile, you'll see right at the very bottom there's a last updated with a date on it and if you scroll over that it actually turns into a hand so it essentially is allowing you to um, click on it so if you were to click on it it will take you to your login information so if you log in using the same credentials that you use to access your email it will take you into this screen and the first thing that you want to do when you're in here is click on the multi edit button and that then opens up all of your information and as you can see here you have the option of either clearing the picture that's already there for you or adding a new one there you can go in and change your salutation, your name, the college, um, and as you work your way through here, you can go, and some of this is already going to be done for you, adding in your phone number, if you want to put in a fax number, your office number, you could put in a website, for example, let's put in, oops, colon, slash, I will add in my personal website there. You could put a brief bio in there. You can put some educational information in there. You can put some information about your teaching, like the courses that you've taught or that you're teaching that semester. You can put in some information about your research. Uh, you can list any grants that you've got. You can list off publications. You can list off institution or organizations that you're affiliated with, particularly those that you might have a leadership role in. You can indicate any honors that you might have had here. Um, and you can also put in places of employment prior to coming to Torah University, so other academic ones that are there. So there's a fair amount of information that you can add into this particular page. And once you've added those items that you want to put in there, all you've got to do then is click on save. And now it's basically just giving you what this will look like. So this is not the final version, or this is not the live version yet. This is essentially a version that's been updated based upon what you've put in there. Now you can also decide that, okay, there's other things I want to edit in here. So let me go back to the edit function and then go multi-edit so I've got it again but let's assume that everything that was there were things that you were okay with so yep that's finished I'm ready to go all you have to do is click on this green publish button and then the information will end up being published live and you can actually go and see the live window there now by clicking on that button so you have a couple of options here obviously there's a lot of detail that you can put in there about yourself and if you aren't going to use one of the other open scholarship items that we've got out there things like academia.edu or researchgate or mendeley or even toro scholar which is an institutional one the least that you can do is go in and make sure that you have a robust profile in the tu.edu website so that way it will provide a great deal more information about you and give you at least one place to publicize the work that you've been doing either as a, uh, a teaching faculty or from a research perspective. So that's how to go in and update your account on the Toro University California website.